Hey, time to take 36 here. Happy Valentine's Day. And speaking of Valentine's Day, I actually went to see the movie Valentine's Day during the Valentine's Day weekend. Yeah, I saw the movie Valentine's Day starring a hell of a lot of people. Jessica Alba, Kathy Bates, Jessica Biel, Bradley Cooper, Eric Dane, Patrick Dempsey, Hector Elizondo, Jamie Foxx, Jennifer Garner, Topher Grace, Annie Hathaway, Carter Jenkins, Ashton Kutcher, Queen Led Diva. Sorry about that. I'm reading it because it's a big list, alright? Taylor Lautner, George Lopez, Shirley McLean, Emma Roberts, Julia Roberts, Bryce Robinson, and Taylor Swift. That's a pretty big cast. I'll edit that out. February 14th, Valentine's Day is not a national holiday, but it is one of those days that must be celebrated. There are special someones in your life who expect to receive romantic gifts from their lovers. Commercialism has put a tremendous amount of pressure on men to give their lovers a romantic day with all the trimmings. Women are under pressure to, sorry about that, to have a man or they feel desperate. And in love, Valentine's Day follows the lives of several couples during this day. Their stories are told through the interconnections they have with each other. Some will find romance in their relationship. Others will feel the heartbreak of ending a relationship. In the room, in the Russian roulette world of finding love, everyone in the film is asking for advice on how to find and keep true love. Before I get to the positives of this movie, I'll have to say the negatives first. Like I said, a big cast, which means a lot of couples, which means a lot of stories, which caught me confused for the 125 minute runtime. And I kept wandering. Some part. There were some parts where I was wandering, you know, looking at the ceiling, looking at the side of the screen, looking at the audience, yeah, looking at the projector. Yeah, looking at the audience, wait, did I just say that already? Well, I did. Be there was a big audience. But, and it was kind of confusing. But, but, but I'll look at the bright sides of this movie. It's pretty funny. It has good comedy. It's a good date movie. You could take your ladies to it like I did mine. <laughs> yeah, my girlfriend enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm lonely, okay? I'm lonely. It's a good movie. Anyways, this is a good movie. I I check it out if you have a date like like I do. Okay, I don't. Yeah, if you saw me freaking out. Yeah, I don't. I know. I know. All right. But anyways, take your date to it. Take your, like, it's, it's funny, too. And it features Taylor Lautner tripping on a, you know, one of those, tr on the track at school, one of those things you jump over. I don't know the name of it, but it <laughs> he trips on it, and I yelled, That's what you get for Twilight, you stupid Indian. Go back to wherever the hell you came from. Wait a minute, they were, were. From America. Awkward moment. Anyway, I'll just end the review right here and I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. Anyways, happy Valentine's Day. Subscribe, comment, and send a friend invite. And rate 5 stars if you like this review. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, I just dropped my camera there for a second. Sorry about that. And th thanks for watching. I 